Yo, what's going on YouTube? For some reason, this keeps moving. <laughs> so, anyway, man, let's get into it, man. The voting fraud continues, man. The voting fraud continues. Democrats continue to steal the election. Uh, but they they forecasted it, man. They forecasted it. They said they and they and they said it, and they were telling everybody. They were priming everybody up. They said Trump. Will have a red wave, a red mirage, you know, that's what they call it, a red mirage. <laughs> you know, it's going to be a red mirage, and it's going to look like he's winning, but the uh, Joe Biden be the victor after. Once all the votes are counted, Joe Biden will win, right? Because they did the mail in thing. You remember, they kept saying, don't let a crisis go to waste, man. Hillary Clinton said that, man. She said, oh, well, this COVID thing, we can't let a crisis go to waste. So they did all the mail-in ballots and all the mail-in uh, ballots and everything like that. They just arbitrarily sent out mail-in ballots for, to people who didn't ask for them, right? Right? Just arbitrarily sent them out. Arbitrarily sent them out. You got you got ballots missing, ballots being thrown away, ballots being harvested, right? All in Democrat states, and now on election night, this is what they didn't want to call. They didn't want to call Wisconsin when Trump was leading. They didn't want to call Michigan when Trump was leading. 67% of the vote was already in. They didn't want to call PA when Trump was up 700,000 votes with 60% of the uh, count in. Right? They didn't want to call North Carolina. They didn't want to call Georgia. And this man still leading. Right? 90%, 95%. 95 but yet, yeah, you can see here Fox News, Fox News went out of the way to call Arizona for Joe Biden with 70% of the vote count. Now it's at 84. You can see how Trump uh, was closing in. And they still haven't counted all the votes. They, from what I was told, they didn't even count the, the day of votes. The election day votes. Like people walking in votes, which I don't know how they can do that. Because, like I said, it's the machines. You don't need to count. You don't have to know how to count. You know. How is it? How, how, how is that? So, the, from my understanding, they they, they, they got in. the um, They just stopped counting. This has been like this for like two hours, man. 84%. It's been like that for like hours, bro. So, Trump is trying to force them to finish counting. They just stopped. They just stopped counting. It's been 84% for the past two, two hours of the voter count. Nevada, they just stopped counting. Right? They just stopped counting, man. They said they're going to count on Thursday. And they say Trump is looking strong in Nevada. Right? So, so there you have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's 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 pretty much it, man. You know, I don't I don't understand. It took them forever to call Texas, man. But but that's what they're doing right now. Um, the Democrats they don't represent like Middle America, man. They don't represent Middle America. It's all these gentrified cities and stuff like that that are pretty running this this here, man. It's a it's a, actually uh this is what's controlling Middle America, okay? This is what's tro controlling Middle America. The cities, Minnesota. Look, look, look. Just look. All red. Deciding factor, the city. Deciding factors of cities, man. Look. The 
Let's, let's go to Michigan, which Trump was winning. But look, look, look how they just manufactured the votes. So Trump won, if you ask me, he already won. But this is this is exactly what they said they're gonna do. They said like what was gonna happen. Trump is gonna win on election night. After the election, we're gonna steal the uh, we're gonna uh, steal the election. I mean, actually, after the day of the election, we're gonna steal the election. And they said this. It's like we're gonna steal the election. It's like no way Trump can declare victory. Trump can't declare victory on election night. But Biden, but Joe Biden did. He went out there and said, yeah, and we're going to win Pennsylvania. Right? Even though Trump was up 700,000 votes. Right? And then he said, they falsely reported, oh, Georgia's in play. How the hell is Georgia's in play, bro? Oh, Augustus and Savannah and all, all, all these Democrat-controlled cities. Atlanta and the surrounding areas and stuff like that. Savannah. Right. They they want to give they don't they won't even give this man North Carolina and stuff like that. I'm telling you, man, it's just it's just a bunch of. Anyway, well, whatever the president does, you know Donald Trump does. You know I support him. Uh, Joe Biden, he's not there. Uh, Anybody who voted for uh, J- J- Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, um, I don't know if you just misinformed or you just hate Trump, but I, I think it's just, uh, it's just, you know, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't understand, man. With the Hunter Biden laptop, the story was suppressed, and he's going to do the fr- in-, in fracking. Which is going to raise gas prices. We're number one. I'm just telling you, man. Some people just need, not in the know, man. They're not even educated. You know what I'm saying? Or what what's actually really going on, man? It's just not educated on on what's really going on, man. It's just it's just uh, um. It's not not just sad. It's it's actually scary. That and then you gotta you know we're in the same boat so. You know, I live in America, you know, I got to, I got to, like, live with these people and their, and their decisions, you know what I'm saying, and, and how they think, you get what I'm saying, it's like, how they think is affecting how I live, you know, or, you know, on a day-to-day basis, pretty much, you know, the, the laws that they implement and stuff like that, because they're forcing their ideas on me, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, for me, I'm not forcing my ideas on, on anyone, it's the Democrats doing that. And people who vote for them, you know what I'm saying. And then all they want to do is steal money, you know, with the with the taxes and stuff like that. You know, it's just um, high taxes. Every every time I got a, a pay raise, man, taxes went up. I'm like, how is this every time? And then you know, what I'm saying, and then <laughs> the pay raise would be only like maybe I'll be lucky to get a dollar. And the Democrats they'll take forty cents. You know, so at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, maybe you got like a 20 cent raise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. All right, man. We, we're going to see what's up, man. Um, I, if, if Joe Biden's elected, yeah, you... you yeah, this um yeah, they, there is no more um uh, you know democracy in the United States of America. It's, it's pretty much gone. Um and then I think um as far as like the all the the people who are considered like conspiracy theorists and stuff like that, this is just this validates everything. 
Trump's whole presidency, his whole four years, validates everything. And people who don't want to believe it or something like that or try to justify it and stuff like that, to me, in my opinion, um, either you're, you know, you're ignorant or you choose to be ignorant or you're just a criminal or you just flat out dumb, you know what I'm saying? You either dumb or, or all all three, you know what I'm saying? You just a tyrant and you just feel as if it's okay to steal and um you know push steal lie, cheat and steal to push your agenda and stuff like that. You you, you don't you know what I'm saying? You and this to, to you're not patriotic, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't see I can't sit here and say you're American. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, maybe by name, but definitely not American. You know, and you're definitely not about freedom. You know, you're just about power and control, man. And you can see it, man, on these social platforms and stuff like that. When you talk about these groups, um, you know, they got they got us divided. You know. Men versus women and stuff like that. These feminists and everything like that. It's all about power and control, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all about power and control and, and dictating, you know, what somebody should or shouldn't do and how they think and everything like that, man. That's not American, man. That's not American. If, you, if, if you're saying that's American, then, um, you, 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 you know, you're highly misinformed, bro, you know. But it's but it's but but it's all right, man. It's it's everything's gonna work itself out. Everything's gonna work itself out. Um, if Trump takes drastic measures, man, I'm with him. One hundred percent. I'm with him. One hundred percent. And whatever happens, uh, I'm not, you know, with you know communism. I'm not with Joe Biden. I'm not with Kamala Harris. I'm not with Nancy Pelosi. I'm not with. Uh, Ocasio Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, Elon Omar, um, all these people in Hollywood and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not with them, bro. All right, I catch y'all later. Bye.